Okay, this might be a very fast video, um, uh, because I feel like Bardock and Guinea are very easy units to talk about and very easy to just um, break down. So, um, their SSR, I'm pretty certain that they awaken the same day because they are a 50th anniversary banner unit that comes out on Gogeta's banner. They come out on Gogeta's banner, right? I'm, I'm pretty certain they come out on Gogeta's. I think, did they? I think, okay. Uh, okay, Let, let's think about this. So, going back to the 50th anniversary on JP, January 30th of 2020. So, uh, on Gogeta's banner, they have Bardock and Guinea. And on Super, not Super, on Blue Vegito's banner, for LR Tech Blue Vegito's banner, they have AGL Trunks and Mont, I think. Now I gotta double check that. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm very certain they have Cold Judgment, do they? Let's go now. Like, we gotta... We just got to go ahead and prove this. Okay, so yeah. These guys are on Vegito's banner. I think they are. Trunks am I, right? They are. Okay, yeah, because they come out 50th anniversary. Okay, so yeah. They're Vegito's banner unit for the 50th anniversary. And Bardock and Gine are Gogeta's banner unit. Because, of course, Dragon Ball Super uh, Broly, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. That that is correct, right? Oh my god, <laughs> why am I why am I second guessing myself? Um, anyways, okay. So uh, this unit, right? Um, <laughs> let's talk about them. Uh, pretty easy. Eh? I feel as if though I'm just gonna go ahead and break this unit down. Um, very quickly just to uh, sum up what they do inside their pre easy so this unit comes out during the fifth year anniversary on uh, Blue Gogeta's banner, possibly the most hype anniversary ever, like easily because you can't beat fusions. Uh, and, um, this card, let's see what this card does. Leader skill is movie heroes, three key and one twenty percent across the board. We're talking about their pre EZA first, by the way, guys. And they also, uh, have a leader skill to super, not super, it's just STR, STR type three key and 70% of the stats. And their super attack, that being final spirit cannon, 50% attack and defense for one turn. So good super attack effect. And they get a hundred percent attack and defense at the start of the turn. And they get additional three key and a hundred percent attack and defense when you have a Goku on the team. So you absolutely positively want a Goku on the team so you can get that additional key and attack and defensive buff which is obviously very helpful for them that would that would be a total of three key and 200 percent attack and defense provided you do have the goku on the team and for the rest of the part of this card they get additional 100 percent attack when you go up against a movie boss category enemy and an additional three key and 100 percent attack and a guaranteed crit if you're going up against a frieza which makes sense because of course bardock and gine um dragon ball super broly um and that is pretty much that yeah <laughs> Am I, yo, am I missing something? They, they, they're they from the Broly movie, right? I'm, yo, I'm bugging, bro. They, they're from the Broly movie. Let me just stop second guessing myself. So, um, everything right here is a cherry on top. Yes, 100% uh, attack when going up against a movie boss's character. They are a movie hero's character. 100% uh, attack, three key, and a guaranteed crew when going up against a Frieza enemy. Um, makes sense because, of course, Bardock flies up, shoots the little final spirit cannon, um, and it basically gets evaporated by Frieza's just supernova yes so uh this is what you're gonna have up most of the time yeah and if uh you want your bardock and guinea to hit a substantial attack stat back then in january of 2020 you were going up against a movie bosses uh and a frieza yeah and more so um you'd be going up against like a resurrection f frieza to to be more like keen on it because it's Frieza, and then of course it's Resurrection F, so it's Movie Boss is Frieza. So, um, that is it. The uh, most useful thing about this unit was the fact that they were a support type unit. That is all. They, this card was locked to showcases. Were they good enough to run inside the Legendary Goku event? Because they are a Legendary Goku event meta unit. Because do keep in mind that Extreme Super Battle does not come out till Saiyan Day of 2020, which is almost like two months away. Less than two months away on JP. So, uh, yeah. LGE meta unit, um, they were used solely for their support and they were locked to showcases. Yes, you've seen them in a plethora of the truth showcases back in the year of 2020. You saw Bardock and Gine absolutely positively to uh, bring out a unit's uh, probably not best attack stat, but uh, maybe best attack stat. You saw, a unit, you saw this unit on a showcase to bring out a unit's po probable best attack stat. Probable. <laughs> Um, because, of course, Dokkan World be... Oh, my God. Dokkan World, he's the one that really be bringing out the best attack stats. Like, Jesus Christ, Dokkan World. You're just a goat. 
Um, and the active skill, uh, DNA's encouragement, removes all ally status effects, which is obviously very strong, and raises all allies' attack by 22% for two turns. And of course, it can be activated with HP's 80% or less, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. So yeah, showcase unit. Right, good enough to be ran inside the Legendary Goku event, but outside of that, showcase unit. Well, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, showcase unit, showcase unit. Okay. Um, but with that being said, could you run them inside Legend of Goku for meta? You, yeah, you can run them during that meta. But yeah, they were, they were more so meant for showcases, right? So, post EZA comes out February 5th of 2024. So, they get their EZA during the 9th anniversary. All right. So, super attack effects. Uh, and of course, leader skills buffed up. But we're going to skip over the leader skill because it's not really that important. Uh, super attack uh, is buffed up to 100% attack and defense one turn. And they raise all allies' attack and defense by 22% for two turns. So let me tell you guys this. This is the strongest thing about this unit is their super attack effect. This is the strongest thing. 100% attack and defense for one turn. And you're giving it the entire rotation and the next rotation 22% attack and defense for, for to, to, that's two turns of course self-excluded but that's this is the strongest thing about this unit far and away um the new passive uh 122 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and they recover 22 percent deep not 22 percent defense oh my god i'm leaving that in there imagine recovering defense what the <laughs> they recover 22 percent hp when hp is 50 percent or less uh sorry <laughs> okay recover 80 <laughs> What the fuck, bro? <laughs> they recover 22% HP. When HP is 50% or less at the start of turn once only. So nice to have HP recovery in their back pocket. And they also get four key and 122% attack and defense when you have a Goku on the team. So still a very easy addition to activate considering the fact that Goku has some of the strongest cards in the game. And an additional 122% attack and defense when there is a bond, a parent, a child, category ally attack at the same turn. And then, of course, you have the rest of their card, which is a cherry on top, that being 122% attack when you go up against a movie boss's enemy. And four key and 122% attack and a guaranteed crit when you go up against a Frieza. So, um, that's just like a little fun thing in the card. It's just buffed up by 2%. I mean, cool, Dokkan. You could just got, you know, a bit funny and just slap 200% right over here and 200% right over here just to be like, hey, just a little funny thing to have in their card. But anyways, um, what you're going to be having active on this card is this entirety of the kit. This. Uh, so, 122% attack and defense start turn. And you want that additional attack and defense buff. As well as that additional attack and defense buff when performing an attack. When you have a bond, a parent, child, slash Goku uh, um, attack in the same turn. Yeah, pretty much. So, you do want a Goku on the team and a bond, a parent, child character attacking on each turn. So, that this card is getting an attack and defense buff in their past their super attack effect. Which is crazy, is that this card is getting 122% attack and defense when attacking. Um while they're getting 100% attack defense when performing a super attack in their super attack effect. So yeah. Uh, and their active skill is unchanged. Um, still gives the same exact thing. Same exact condition. Nothing really too different. And a link set. Same warrior race. The same lineage. Same pride. Uh, cold judgment. Prepare for battle. Experienced fighters. Uh, fierce battle. Uh, categories. Pure Saiyans. Join forces. Movie heroes. Goku's family. Bond of parent child. And super hero. So that was all. Yeah. That's it. Um, 200% leader skills that they're on. They are on some good 200% leader skills. Of course, some Beast Gohans and the 9th anniversary Gogeta's 200% leader skill. Um, of course, you do have some others, that being Orange Piccolo's and Beastless Gohan. And then Bardock, who's far and away the worst 200% leader skill that you would run with them. But that's it. Yeah. Uh, six 200% leader skills, uh, two of them being good. I mean, you could possibly count these uh, these two right over here. But yeah, you know, to each his own. And then the best single partner would have to be the SSR. Hell no. You're not running the SSR right next to them. In a showcase setting, no. Not even a showcase setting. <laughs> so, um, that is about it. Um, what you're using for this card is their support. This is the only reason you're using this card. This is the only reason you use this card. This and this right over here. Them being able to get this down here. This would be the only reason. Um, to be using their you'd only use them for their support. Um, post EZA or to get a funny little attack stat when they're going against a movie boss's Frieza. That's it. Yeah, oh, as well as their active skill, obviously. Active skill slash super attack effects and their. Yeah, right over there. Um, granted, you could bring this up. You could bring this character up against a boss where they can possibly tank uh, normals, but if they can't tank no normals, you build them full dodge. And just pray for pray to the heavens if you're running them against a boss where they're not going to be doing too well against normals. You just pray. And if they're going up against AoE normals bosses, just take them off the team. 
I appreciate guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I love you all. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I was second guessing myself on if uh, Bardock and Guinea was from the fucking Broly movie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peace.